What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com Back with another SketchUp extension review for you So this week we're going to talk about an extension that has a ton of different tools for selecting different objects in your model So let's go ahead and just jump into it So this week's plugin name Selection Toys Plugin Developer TomTom Tom. How much does it cost? It's free Please don't forget to donate to your developer where do you get it? This extension can be downloaded both in the Sketchication store as well as from the SketchUp extension warehouse. I've also linked to it in the notes below. Tool functions. This extension contains a large set of tools for selecting different types of objects in your model. By default, only about eight options show up in the toolbar, but you can go in and enable additional options by modifying the UI settings in the extension menu. This extension basically works by you selecting an object or a group of objects then adding to or subtracting from that selection by selecting different options. For example, if you have an object with a framework and a ton of faces, you can use the Select Faces option or the Deselect Faces option to quickly delete out all of the faces. You can also use it to select the soft edges in your model, allowing you to quickly smooth or unsmooth curved faces. This allows a lot of different options for being creative with different modeling types. This extension also has options for selecting groups, components, guides, lines by type, edge loops, section planes, polylines, dimensions, front and back default material, and hidden and smooth edges. You can also assign keyboard shortcuts to these tools in order to speed up working with them. All in all, it's a very powerful set of tools that allow working with selections in a way that would really up your modeling game. It really gives you a new set of options for what you're working with, allowing you to really be creative. So anyway, since this is a free extension and just the fact that it has so many built-in options, there's no reason you shouldn't have this on your computer. It should really be kind of a default thing that you have in order to uh, really work, uh, really up your modeling game. So anyway, that's where we're going to wrap up this plugin overview. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Are you using this? Do you have any ideas for how you could use this? Just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. Uh, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. That just helps me keep bringing you great SketchUp content. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.